Hello everyone. Our subject is financial management. So we have already discussed about the meaning of capital structure. Clear difference between capital structure and financial structure. So I repeat, what do you mean by capital structure? Capital structure means mixes of debt and equity finance. Clear. So you have to design your capital structure in such a way that will maximize the return and minimize the risk. Clear. So there are various types of capital structure. Capital structure with equity share only. Capital structure with equity and preference share. Capital structure with equity and debentures. Capital structure with equity preference and debenture. We already discussed about the first type that, that is the capital structure with equity share only. Today we discuss about the equity share and preference share and equity share and debenture. So you have to just give overview clear. So let's start with the second one that is capital structure with equity and preference share clear. So capital structure with equity and preference share. So here is, I just repeat, what do you mean by capital structure? Capital structure means mixes of owner's fund plus borrowed fund. Clear, you have to design your capital structure in optimum way. Optimum capital structure or you can say ideal capital structure means maximize the profit and minimize the loss. Clear. So let's start with the second type that is capital structure with equity share and preference share. So first one. Here is in your capital structure included equity share plus preference shares. Clear? Whenever company have a need of finance for future expansion, future diversification, modernization, at that time company have to use equity plus preference shares. So first one advantage appeal to cautious investor. There are two type of investor in market. Clear? Risk avoider and risk takers. So risk takers means bold investor and risk avoider means cautious investor. Clear? So generally in preference share dividend is generally dividend is not compulsory clear but it is fixed generally company jo dividend provide kare to kya provide kare and fix on preference share so preference share can be easily sold to investor who prefer reasonable safety of their capital and want regular and fixed rate and clear so appeal means attract attract to the risk avoider generally in equity share dividend is not compulsory and not fixed in preference share dividend is not compulsory but it is fixed and in debenture interest is fixed and compulsory so in your if in capital structure your company's capital structure included equity plus preference share then risk avoider always prefer to making investment in your company so it, it attract to the risk avoider then no obligation for dividend means there should be no any kind of obligation or burden for the company to pay compulsory dividend it is totally depend on net earning or net profit of the company clear then no interference means only equity shareholder generally here is no obligation for dividend so company is not bound to pay dividend on preference share clear it can postpone dividend in case of cumulative preference share what do you mean by cumulative preference share generally cumulative means combined for example in last year or previous year if company suffer from loss then company was not able to pay dividend but whenever company issue the cumulative preference share it is the responsibility of company to pay last year unpaid dividend plus current dividend so cumulative preference share issue kaira hoy company hai to unpaid previous year nu unpaid dividend hoy compulsory pay karu pade clear so here is fixed burden is created on its finance but here is uh, generally no obligation means there should be no any kind of burden because dividend is not compulsory which is totally depend on net profit no interference means uh, preference share holder have no voting right so they cannot interfere in the management of the company only equity share holder have a voting right so they can interfere then trading on equity again trading on equity Trading on equity means leverage, use of borrowed capital in your capital structure, clear. So it is, for example, there are two type of capital structure, capital structure with equity only and capital structure with equity plus preference. And third is capital structure with equity plus preference plus debenture. So generally leverage benefit is available whenever you use borrowed capital in your cap in your capital structure, clear. Why? Because whatever profit earned by the company, company have to pay only fixed 
fixed interest to the debenture holder. So remaining profit is available to the equity shareholder. Clear. So here is benefit of trading on equity are available because issue of preference and only fixed dividend is to be paid and all remaining profit is available for the equity shareholder. So Tamara capital structure my equity plus preference shareholder to company ne government lo profit thai emathi fixed part of preference shareholder ne pay karwano. So remaining profit is available to the equity shareholder. So it so you can provide higher rate of dividend to your equity shareholder clear no charge on asset charge on asset means mortgage clear generally mortgage ni jaru se ma pade borrowed amount debenture clear company have to provide security mortgage charge on asset but here is preference share do not create any mortgage or security company a koi pan prakar ni security ke mortgage aapwani jaru nahi so company's asset remain free which can be used in future clear so the company can keep it fixed asset free for raising loan in future then flexibility so company can issue various types of preference share redeemable irredeemable clear cumulative preference share non cumulative we already discussed types clearing sources of finance so here is company can issue redeemable preference share for fixed period the capital can be repaid clear so there should be no any kind of over capitalization and your capital structure remain elastic means flexible clear you can change according to situation then variety so there is different types of uh, sales can be issued depending on the needs of investor clear participating preference share participating means uh, shareholder can take participate in surplus profit of the company generally ke hoy preference share my company ne government lo profit thai it doesn't matter company have to pay only fixed dividend to the preference shareholder but only participating preference shareholder have a right to participate in surplus profit of the company clear convertible non convertible so there are variety of preference share which can be issued according to needs and preference of the investor clear then disadvantage here is fixed obligation fixed obligation means generally company have to provide fixed rate of dividend clear generally at the time of winding up or shutdown company preference shareholder have a priority or preferential right in terms of dividend payment and in terms of principal payment clear so there should be fixed obligation fixed burden on company to pay compulsory fixed dividend the burden is greater in case of cumulative preference share i again repeat what do you mean by cumulative and non cumulative cumulative means come back clear last year ma previous year ma company ne loss thyo and if company was not able to pay dividend then if company issue the cumulative preference share then it is the compulsory responsibility of company to pay previous year unpaid dividend plus current year dividend clear जे अनपेड डिविडेंड हो लास्ट इयर नु प्रीवियस इयर नु कंपलसरी कंपनी ए पे करव पड़े इफ कंपनी इज यू क्यूमुलेटिव प्रेफरेंस सो बर्डन विल बी ग्रेटर क्लियर लिमिटेड अपील सो देयर आर टू टाइप ऑफ इन्वेस्टर इन मार्केट बोल्ड इन्वेस्टर एंड कॉशियस बोल्ड मींस रिस्क टेकर्स एंड कॉशियस मींस रिस्क अवॉइडर्स जनरली बोल्ड इन्वेस्टर वांट्स टू मेक इन्वेस्टमेंट वांट्स टू प्रेफर टू मेक इन्वेस्टमेंट इन इक्विटी शेयर एंड कॉशियस इन्वेस्टर वांट्स टू मेक इन्वेस्टमेंट इन प्रेफरेंस शेयर एंड डिबेंचर क्लियर जनरली मेकिंग इन्वेस्टमेंट इन डिबेंचर इज कंसीडर एज अ सेफेस्ट इन्वेस्टमेंट व्हाई बिकॉज़ इफ कंपनी अर्न प्रॉफिट और लॉस इट डजंट मैटर कंपनी हैव टू पे फिक्स इंटरेस्ट टू द डिबेंचर होल्डर सो इंटरेस्ट डिविडेंड आ बदु इन्वेस्टर माटे सु केवाय इनकम clear so cautious and conservative investor prefer debenture and government security it will be considered as a safest investment to get the compulsory fixed interest so fixed interest is considered as a fixed regular income for the investor clear so it, in order to attract sufficient investor company may have to offer higher rate of dividend clear so limited attraction low return so generally when the earning of the company are high fixed dividend on preference have become unattractive generally lower return preference share ma ke was if company on good profit then also company have to provide only fixed return clear so here is fixed dividend on preference share become unattractive so preference share holder generally generally do not have the right to participate in the prosperity of company so prosperity means company ne jo surplus ke extra profit thai 
तो पर कंपनी के वो डिविडेंड प्रोवाइड कर सके फिक्स रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट विच इज डिसाइडिंग एडवांस क्लियर सो ओनली पार्टिसिपेटिंग प्रेफरेंस शेयर होल्डर हैव अथॉरिटी राइट पावर टू पार्टिसिपेट इन प्रॉस्पेरिटी सरप्लस प्रॉफिट ऑफ द कंपनी अदर टाइप्स ऑफ शेयर होल्डर गेटिंग द फिक्स रेट ऑफ डिविडेंड क्लियर सो लोअर रिटर्न नो वोटिंग राइट वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस दैट प्रेफरेंस शेयर होल्डर हैव नो एनी काइंड ऑफ वोटिंग राइट सो दे कैन नॉट पार्टिसिपेट इन मैनेजमेंट एंड कंट्रोल ऑफ द कंपनी दैट फुल बेनिफिट ऑफ ट्रेडिंग ऑन इक्विटी आर नॉट अवेलेबल generally trading on equity means leverage use of borrowed fund debt financing your capital structure so here is your capital structure is equity plus preference sir clear so there should be no any kind of borrowed amount so full benefit is not available generally whenever you calculate the tax clear the interest paid on debenture is considered as a tax deductible expense tumhe jetlu debenture holder ne interest pay karo etlo tumare tax ocho bharo टैक्स बेनिफिट सेम अवेलेबल छे ओनली डिबेंचर क्लियर इक्विटी शेयर एंड प्रेफरेंस शेयर टैक्स बेनिफिट इज नॉट अवेलेबल क्लियर सो इन द कैलकुलेशन ऑफ इनकम टैक्स इंटरेस्ट पेड ऑन डिबेंचर रिगार्ड एज अ एक्सपेंडिचर एंड देयरफॉर इज अ टैक्स डिडक्टिबल सो व्हाइल डिविडेंड पेड ऑन प्रेफरेंस शेयर आर नॉट सो डिडक्टिबल सो फुल बेनिफिट इज नॉट अवेलेबल टैक्स बेनिफिट इज ओनली अवेलेबल ऑन डिबेंचर क्लियर તમે જેટલું ઇન્ટરેસ્ટ કંપની જેટલું ઇન્ટરેસ્ટ પે કરે એટલો કંપની એ ટેક્સ ઓછો પે કરવાનો ક્લિયર બટ ધીસ ટાઈપ ઓફ ટેક્સ બેનિફિટ ઇઝ નોટ અવેલેબલ ઓન ઇક્વિટી એન્ડ પ્રેફરન્સ સો ફૂલ બેનિફિટ ઇઝ નોટ અવેલેબલ ક્લિયર ધેન કેપિટલ સ્ટ્રક્ચર વિથ ઇક્વિટી શેર એન્ડ ડિબેન્ચર થર્ડ ટાઈપ ક્લિયર ઇક્વિટી શેર એન્ડ ડિબેન્ચર સો બેનિફિટ ઓફ ટેક્સ વી ઓલરેડી ડિસ્કસ ઇફ ઇન યોર કેપિટલ સ્ટ્રક્ચર देयर આર ટુ ટાઈપ ઓફ equity and debenture so tax benefit is available clear company have to pay interest to the debenture holder so interest is considered as expenditure and interest is considered as a tax deductible expense company jetlo interest pay karse etlo company tax ocho pay karvano so tax benefit is available whenever company use debenture in their capital structure then cheaper source of finance so generally debenture is already considered as a self self security self investment so there should be no requirement of much publicity clear so publicity advertisement is not required because debenture is already considered as a self investment why self investment whether company earn profit or loss it doesn't matter company have to pay fixed interest so it is already considered as a self investment so cost of capital is reduced there should be no any kind of brokerage underwriting advertising publicity clear so it is cheaper source of finance then benefit of trading on equity i again repeat trading on equity means leverage use of borrowed capital in your capital structure so how leverage benefit is available if in your capital structure there are two type that is equity plus debenture so whatever profit earned by the company company have to pay only fixed interest to the debenture holder so remaining profit is available to the equity share holder so in that sense uh, company can able to provide higher rate of dividend to their equity share holder so trading on equity benefit is available leverage benefit clear then no interference so if in your capital structure there will be a debenture clear equity plus debenture so debenture holder have a no voting right so they cannot participate in management of the company clear then attract investor with the different attitude different attitude attitude means there are two type of investor clear risk takers and risk avoiders so in your capital structure there are two types that is equity plus debenture so equity share attract the risk takers clear and debenture attracts to the uh, debenture attracts risk takers and risk avoiders clear so this here is uh, this type of capital structure can attract investor with different attitude it can attract venture some investor venture some at least risk takers who prefer high income as well as conservative investor who prefer safety jo tumhe safety prefer karta hoy to tumhe kevu ke mai risk here is risk avoider clear for example conservative means cautious risk avoider to me risk avoider hoy to so prefer karo safety so you have to prefer to make investment in debenture 
and venturesome. Venturesome means risk takers. If you are risk takers, clear, bold investor, then you want to make prefer to make investment in equity set, clear. So it 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 attract the different kind of attitude, clear. No delusion of control. For example, only equity shareholder have a voting right. If you have a requirement of money, additional finance for uh, expansion, diversification, modernization, clear. And if you raise your additional finance with the help of equity, then your control power should be distributed among new shareholder plus existing shareholder. But if you raise if you have a need of money, requirement of money, and if you raise your additional finance with the help of debenture, then your control power should remain with the existing shareholder only, clear? Then no dilution or in share of profit. A debenture holder, for example, in Tamara Capital Structure, Masunche equity plus debenture. So debenture, whatever profit earned by the company, company ne government no profit thas e, to pan company ke wo interest pay kar se, debenture holder ne fix interest. So debenture holder cannot participate in surplus profit of the company, clear? So debenture holder do not share profit of the company, company ne extra profit thas e, to pan company fix interest pay kar se, so they cannot participate in surplus profit, clear? They are liable to receive agreed amount of fixed interest only. So here is then flexibility. So this is the flexible capital structure in good time when company has enough fund on hand, it can repay the venture holder and reduce the burden of interest payment. Clear? Then disadvantage. So if in your in your capital structure there will be an equity plus the venture, then it increase the burden on company generally burden clear why there should be burden because whether company and profit or loss it doesn't matter company how to pay fixed rate of interest regularly whether profit are positive or negative so it is increased burden on company then in case of default default at least generally it is compulsory to pay interest to the debenture holder Clear. Debenture company issue kaira hoi to company a compulsory interest pay karu but if company cannot able to pay interest then it will be considered as a default of the company. Clear. In case of default debenture holder can put company into difficulty. So sometimes company may be dragged into low court, may be forced into liquidation. Clear. Ban thawana pan chances liye if company cannot able to pay interest regularly. Clear. Credit worthiness is of company is reduced. Credit worthiness means reputation. Tamara capital structure my equity plus debenture. So equity is considered as owner's fund. Debenture is considered as borrowed fund. So if you use borrowed amount up to some level, then it will be good. But if you use beyond the level, clear. If you use borrowed amount beyond the level, then it will be considered as a dangerous for the company because your reputation will be reduced clear you have to uh, you have to burden on comp you your company having a burden to fix payment of interest to the debenture holder so here is an in borrowed amount you have to provide security mortgage clear there are secure debenture for example if company issue the secure debenture then company have to provide some security to the debenture holder mortgage their asset to the debenture holder. In future, if company cannot able to pay interest, then debenture holder have a right authority to sell out the property in market and recover the outstanding amount. Clear. Strict rules and regulations of the government. So if you use equity plus debenture, clear, then you have to follow the strict rules and regulations of the government, SEBI and RBA, Security Exchange Board of India and Reserve Bank of India. Clear. Then capital structure with equity preference and debentures. Our fourth type che ema advantage and disadvantage. So you have to enjoy advantage of all above patterns. Like, ama tamare two advantage equity only equity share, two advantage equity plus preference share, two advantage equity plus preference and uh, sorry equity plus debenture. Clear. Same disadvantage ma only equity na two. 3 dis, uh, disadvantage, equity plus preference na 2, 3 disadvantage, equity plus debenture na 2, 3 or 4 disadvantage. Clear, you have to write like this. 
and you have to just give overview clear uh, this is uh, two lengthy of capital uh, types of capital uh, types of capital structure there are four types with an advantage and disadvantage but you have to just give overview clear for each and every type there are four types that is equity share only equity share and preference share equity share and debenture equity share preference share and debenture so if you have any doubt or query then you can message me thank you all